You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Summer is here, and now that it lasts for 11 months, it's important to learn how to grill a burger because there's nothing like standing in front of a hot fire on a hot day to help you get through these trying times. Burger has the word urge inside it, which is why a burger craving is called a burge, said no one ever until now. Unlike a smash burger, which gets its flavor through violence, the grilled burger gets its flavor through grill, in it on a barbecue, with fire. Beef is one of the top eight ingredients of a good burger, but there are different schools of thought on how to prepare it. On the one end of the spectrum, you have people adding eggs, spices, and salt before cooking and mixing it into the beef to maximize the flavor. On the other end of the spectrum, you have purists leaving the beef alone in a dark, certified, salt-free room to meditate for hours. And that's the approach we'll take. Secrets to a juicy burger include don't use extra lean beef, get 20% fat or more, which comes from a butcher, don't overwork the beef, don't squeeze it on the grill, don't overcook it, and don't sprinkle it with Diane's extra dry burger powder. Use Louise's extra juicy dry burger powder. We're going with around one third pound or so and we're gonna make this patty a bit bigger than the bun because it's gonna shrink. I know, I shouldn't touch this beef against the raw bun, but I'm gonna cook it hot enough that there won't be any raw gluten left. Now the other thing you wanna do is put a divot in the patty. This isn't because you like your burger with a thick rimming. It's because as the patty shrinks, the middle will bulge. So we're preemptively anti-bulging it so it will end up flat, just like the earth. Putting raw onion on your burger is about as enjoyable as blasting pepper spray directly into your open mouth. Not to kink shame. So we're gonna cut a thick slab, brush it with some oil, and throw it on the grill. And then you wanna cook this until the pepper spray effect is downgraded to a harsh mint level of abrasiveness. I'm making a spicy relish with two parts pickles to one part pickled jalapenos to around a teaspoon or so of ketchup. This adds a touch of spicy sweetness and I invented this myself, so please give me praise. Since we have two pickled things here, make sure none of the jalapenos are still shaped like a zero or all the flavor will get canceled. Now we're gonna make the perfect Perfect burger sauce. We'll take two tablespoons of mayo. Perfect. All right, we'll add in just a dollop of hot sauce to give it some extra flavor. And just a little bit of Dijon for yet another flavor dimension. The burger sauce dimension. If you want something to counteract the power of the beef, try the flimsiest, daintiest lettuce in all the land, Boston bib lettuce. Lots of strong feelings about tomatoes out there, and if you feel that they are awesome, then your feelings are correct. We're gonna cook these burgers with fire, the way cave people did over a thousand years ago. We've let our grill heat up to medium hot. We'll season the burgers with flavor glitter and pepper, pepper, pepper on both sides. Then we're gonna brush with the slightest bit of oil so the burger doesn't stick like beef tape. You can also Rembrandt the grill directly if you prefer to burn your hands and start an oil fire maybe, so do this when the grill is cold, please. Burgers are going on, and we're gonna let that cook with the lid closed so that the burger starts to come together and will remain in one piece despite my powerful flippy muscles. Make sure the temperature doesn't get too high or this might happen. Then you have to call the fire department and tell them an intruder broke into your yard and started grilling to avoid embarrassment, which is more embarrassing because then you're admitting you don't even know karate. I'm starting with four minutes each side and then we'll just see. Do use a timer because mental grilling time is nothing like real universe time. I'm using my thermometer to make sure it's cooked to a perfect 160 degrees, he said for liability purposes. But if you're medium curious, I've got more info for you below. A minute before they're done, I'm slapping on some cheese flaps. We're gonna toast our bun a bit to create a crusty, sog-resistant barrier. You can also do this in a pan with a few drops of water if you want a hard bottom with a soft top. Before you start putting on your toppings, make a checklist to make sure you don't forget anything. Make sure you put extra sauce at the edge of the bun so it will squeeze out and look good in the thumbnail. We'll keep the burger on the bun by using the power of gravity. Make sure you have onions hanging out of the sides for the same reason as the sauce. Go buck wild with that amazing relish. Wow, who came up with that? And only include one slice of lettuce so that the lettuce haters don't have too much to complain about. Same for the tomato. We'll add a little flavor glitter. And then once again, you want sauce dripping out that top bun because sauce. And there you have a thick, juicy burger bulging to the absolute brink of burgerness, ready to satiate your burge that's ideally going to ruin every other burger for you from here on out forever and ever. Amen. Fall is coming, and so is the busy season, and HelloFresh can help you navigate that. 
Just pick your recipes, your delivery dates, and wait for the food while all your responsibilities just melt away. I mean, if you love standing in lines, please do not order this, but you can get meals with pre-portioned ingredients delivered to your door with the meal planning and shopping done if you like things that are good. Then just follow the step-by-step -step ingredient treasure map and put that treasure inside of your chest or inside your belly. The variety expansion I've experienced is off the charts here since there's 40 meals to pick each week and they're always changing. And if you or your family get hungry constantly because you're a human with a stomach and that's what stomachs cause, you can shop the HelloFresh market and pick from 100 add-on items. But don't pick them all. Exercise a little restraint, okay? Also, if you didn't like my burger, they've got several. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50USUCK at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and use code 50USUCK at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping.